Hello everyone, it's Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques, and I'm going to do the walkthrough for our August 11th, 2020 Decorative Arts Auction, uh, with also shelf lots of local estate items. As you can see as I pan the room, lots of good antiques, chandeliers, furniture, bronzes, jewelry, clocks, mirrors, you name it. So walk with me for a little bit. I'm going to do the whole walk of the room and then I'll walk up and down the aisle so you can see everything. So we start out the auction with all this jewelry here. Lots of nice, lots of nice uh, costume tray lots, etc. And then we come along do a bunch of uh, glassware. Then we move into a little bit of art and furniture. That's, that's what you see around here, art and furniture. We have it stacked up to the ceiling. Now, speaking of stacked up to the ceiling, you can come through and preview this stuff on Monday, the 10th of August, from 10 to 6. There's another aisle of furniture right there, and I'll walk up and down the aisles in just a second, but, it, but uh, maybe the first couple minutes you'll be able to see everything we have now. A lot of this stuff back here was already sold in our modern design auction, which we just had. But... Um, uh, this stuff that you're looking at on the left side here is all for the August 11th auction. All right, let me move down this direction. So this is the uh, the end of the sale. has all this artwork on these shelves right here, and I'll go up and down those aisles again. And then it also, maybe the last two or 300 lots, has all of these shelf lots and tray lots on both sides. So I'll walk up and down these as well. These are at the end of the sale, and... Uh, just a reminder, all these items are listed on our website. They're listed on live auctioneers and invaluable for online bidding. All this stuff right here already sold in our modern sale. Uh, for online bidding on live auctioneers and invaluable, on our website you'll see cataloged items with uh, sizes, descriptions, with um, condition reports, and uh, you know pertinent information. So let's get started. We start out the auction at 10 a.m., on August 11th, that's a Tuesday, we start out with uh, catalog lots of jewelry and jewelry uh, tray lots, lots of good names. You have Chanel in there. You have lots of good uh, rhinestones and beads and and etc. Now they have these mirrors in front of the jewelry here. Let me just come around this way so we can see from this side. So this is about the first 50 lots we're looking at. You have all these tray lots here, and there's, there's tray lots down there as well, tray lots of jewelry. So this is just to give you an idea. Now, if you want to see close-ups of the jewelry, you can check out the website, and there's individual pictures all the way across. So you have all this. Now, down in the front, you can't really see it very well, but there's bunches of uh, tray lots full of watches, contemporary watches. These are nice um, lots, sterling jewelry, good name stuff. All sold by the tray. Uh, so let me jump over here this way. And now we have some more uh, jewelry right there. You have some George Jensen. That's a Jensen pin right there. You have another pair, two pairs of Jensen earrings. There's a very nice um, bracelet. You have some gold jewelry, some bangles. Now we're up to about lot 100. By the time we get to 100, we jump to the back here. I think we do at least. You know what? The back is after the furniture. So by the time we get to 100, I guess we're coming over to here. And that is where the furniture begins. So you have some great, amazing uh, parquetry, marquetry inlay, I should say. Look at this cabinet. It's amazing. Lot 237. That's a little bit into the furniture. There's about 100, maybe 150 lots of furniture. Look at this amazing Durand lamp. The great clocks, lot 229. Let me get out of this section and walk across the front here so we can stay in order and get distracted. All right, so you have some good fashion items. That's all these purses and everything. This is uh, towards the end. Look at the size of this um, kind of foo dog jar. Very nice. And what makes it look even bigger is that's like a smaller ncr cash register but lots of really good furniture like look at the inlay all around the edges of this uh, oak chest right here with the um door oh it's locked the keys inside there you 
There you go. Super nice. That's the last time I'm going to say that. Okay, oops. Look at this amazing snakeskin piece right there. Pretty goth. All right, let me step down around the end here. Very nice French bench. Very nice country French carved front. Kind of fruit wood uh, dresser there. You have the marble tops. You have pedestals. You have torch lamps. Look at this great little bracket clock here. You have some good... Mahogany, look at this amazing piece of furniture right here. The uh, it's all like brass inlay. You have the curio top. You have curio in there. Another amazing piece right here. The bull inlaid kind of brass cabinet right there. Very nice. Moving down. Lots of good, unique, decorative antique pieces. All right, now we're down to the end here. Lot number 115. So this is where we come right after the jewelry. So we start on this side. We got that super large mirror in the back there. Then we have another mirror in front of it. Look at what the uh, fish on the corners. But it's all like pierced carved down the sides. Look at that. Almost uh, black forest. Look at the side of this. Very nice Japanese like faux bamboo. Uh, cabinet all inside this is kind of striking I don't even know what that's supposed to be wardrobe there's a pair of nice French chairs up top here's a nice kind of like side table muffin table that's all inlaid with flowers look at this one in the back here that's Maitland Smith goes all the way to the ground there a nice Maitland Smith planter these are amazing. Look at the scale on these. They're all solid bronze and they're great brackets. You can, oh my gosh. Look at that. Decorated on both sides. Obviously they're very well done. Very, very fine. This is a nice inlaid chest below it. Back here. What is that? Is that Mackenzie Childs? Yes, Mackenzie Childs, lot number 121, a little bit of uh, issue there. Desks in the back, paint decorated stuff. Look at this great paint decorated cabinet in the back, lot 125. Again, you can't really preview from the video. Take a look at our catalog. Lot 128, there's a pair of these chests or stands right there with the um, uh, cherubs on the corners. Pair of them. There's a pair of these lamps, a nice kind of a dainty size but definitely makes a statement very rich looking around the corner here is a great kind of break front curio top sideboard there there's a nice little marble top or leather top desk okay so we already walked down this next aisle right here you have nice it's a nice asian plant tables and urns kind of a mid-century lamp we walk down this direction. We do the top first. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of this kind of buffet table here. Maybe it's a desk. I don't know. I guess it's like a side table. Probably for a buffet. It's very big. Maybe for a library. Nice. This is not like your run-of-the-mill mahogany. This is a lot of good side tables with, you have like um, interesting leather bound things. It's Maitland Smith. It's, it's good arts and crafts. Here's a great lot of Asian bronzes. Lot number 193 we're up to here. Here's a nice little grouping of the gods right there. And then these guys, I'm not sure the name of the characters in that little vignette. Look at that nice uh, copper brass light. All right, we're up to about lot number 200 here. I'm just gonna walk down this aisle and we'll just look at both sides. I can't really, uh, I can't really turn in this aisle. So this is one of those things when, um, so speaking of that, the previews on Monday, that is the, the uh, day before the auction, the 10th, we allow 15 people in the building. 
you can kind of preview once one, one person comes out, then somebody else goes in. So we keep uh, masks on, social distance, preview the auction. There's no auctioneer here during the sale on the 11th. It's only online bidding and it's only uh, through your computer. You can leave absentee bids. You can leave phone bids if you're willing to start the item at at least 300. And we'll execute the uh, absentee bids for you in a competitive manner. Amazing chandeliers above me here. Some nice lamps. You got marble. You got crystal. And look at this. You don't see on this nice. Look how nice this. It's wood. All carved on that fireplace uh, fire screen. It's amazing. It's in great condition for how fancy it is. All right, these are stickly. These stickly uh, settles right here. Now they're newer. They're the uh, you know redo stickly from the '90s. One of them's a sofa bed. That one's got the solid side, and one of them has the slat sides. Check the website for the close-ups uh, of the condition because some of the upholstery needs to be redone on them. You know, the '90s. That was almost 30 years ago now. So uh, you got to figure the upholstery is 30 years old also. A couple TVs in the sale. Victrola back there. All right, so you have an idea of what's in the antique portion. This is an amazing cabinet. Now, this was sold back in March, and it brought near $5,000. The online bidder was a deadbeat, and he didn't pay. But there was an underbidder. We didn't really uh, take too close a look at it at the time when we sold it, but it's amazing. Look how well painted, and uh, the way they made this is they had to paint it many, many times to get it as, as thick as it is. So you come back and paint it and let it dry and paint it and let it dry. It's not a process that they could do quickly. And that's about all I know about that. Look at this great gargoyle kind of lion console table. This is an amazing table here. Very cute. It's kind of decoratory. Faux leopard. You have French provincial. And here's the back, we're back to that marquetry cabinet. Amazing, all inlaid around the sides. Check the website, we took a whole bunch of pictures of it so you can see it better than you can in the video here. All right, so once we finish this portion of the auction, we continue right on into the section where it's all kind of the uncatalogued in the past, but it's the miscellaneous lots, it's a bunch of art, it's toolboxes, it's everything. So we're about lot 300 or so. And we have all this artwork. I'm not going to stop and talk about every item. So you have artwork, you have originals. That's an original oil right there. That's another original oil by Sierra McGilf, McGuffey, McGuffey. You have modern, you have traditional, not that. It was sold in yesterday's auction. And then we jump into these tray lots. The order pretty much is art. Then it's tray lots and individual items, and then it's shelf lots all the way around. So let me just walk up and down so you can kind of see what you see. It is everything from, uh, you know, marble busts. The bust has a couple chips, but it's still a nice one. To big porcelain or Chinese vases. Some nice lots of porcelains. You have groups of prints. Look at the size of this kind of African planner right there. It's got fur on it. Look at the size of this rooster. Can't really tell how big it is in the picture, but it's got to be a good three feet tall. It's a porcelain or, or a pottery rooster. That's amazing. Coming down here, we're up to about lot 560. You have some um, pillows and things. 570. Let me just walk back the other way so you can see everything from the other side and we'll get to the other side of the table. But you have everything from lots of clear glass, jewelry boxes, look at this kind of bronzish figure right there. All this shelf lot is going to be good. There are boxes of record albums. So your best bet's to come and preview because we're not really going to go through and um, not really gonna go through and talk to you about, but you got the doors in there. You got Led Zeppelin, Moody Blues. There's Led Zeppelin again, another Led Zeppelin. 
Jethro Tull, Three Dog Knight. Pretty bad if I can recognize these. Oh, there's a swastika album. I don't know what they're trying to prove. Hitler's Inferno. Aftermath, Elton John, more Led Zeppelin. So there's good rock and roll records. There's 16, 613, 614, etc. Let's continue on. Some good lots of everything. There's a kind of an Italian turtle. We sold a we sold a white porcelain Chinaman in last night's auction for like eight hundred and fifty dollars. Somebody wanted to know the size of these because you can't really tell them in the uh, in the on the website. But I would say they're at least was at least twelve feet twelve inches across, twelve inches across, and a good you know they're they're like centerpieces in their own right. And there's a pair of them in lot five ninety. Um, they're probably a good eight inches tall. Enamelware, you have good china sets, you have instruments, a three-stringed guitar, you have Louis Vuitton luggage. It's in bad enough condition, I'm sure it's real. Uh, right, and now let's do the tray lots, or no, should I make that shelf lots? So the shelf lots uh, start at lot 625, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to back up a little bit. We're going to do two levels. We're just kind of kind of walk along, and you can get an idea of what's in the sale. You know, it's everything from blue and white pottery to Italian pottery, stemware, silver plate. You have toy lots. Look at that little nose art. You have VCRs with VCR VHS tapes. You have big VHS tape lots. Now, all these things come out of estates that we do, and they all have to go somewhere. So these lots bring anywhere from $10 to $700, and sometimes they don't sell at all. So we're going to get through them. They have, to, they have to go somewhere. These items have to be picked up at our location. We will ship them, but sometimes shipping can cost 100 even if you pay $10 for the lot. So depending on, uh, depending on how far away you are and how heavy the lots are, shipping can be way more than the actual purchase of the item. But people pay it anyway if they want the item. If you're looking for a frustration ball there in Lot 70 and you haven't had one since the 70s when you were a kid, like I did. Except ours was cracked. I guess somebody got frustrated threw it across the room. All right. And that one has the box. Speaking of that, we're selling a house in Sharon Hill real estate auction. That's going to be on, sun, or that's going to be on Thursday, August 20th. You can check our website for details about the real estate auction. And that will happen. Uh, opening bid 45,000. It's a single brick home with three bedrooms, one bath. And uh, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice house in Sharon Hill, Pennsylvania. Uh, let's check our website to see more details about that. Starting at 45, selling to the highest bidder after that. And I uh, probably should do 70 80 90 if it brings over 100 that would be a good that would be a good uh call in my book but forty five thousand, and you own it going on from there plus a 10 percent buyer's premium at the bottom here you have good lot lot number 725 i think it's one of the last items in the sale all that lionel uh accessories there's track and houses and transformers all right so i've pretty much done the entire sale you see all 700 lots. It's going to take a while to get through it. We start at 10 a.m. on on Tuesday, August 11th. We go all the way through till it's done. It'll probably till take us till 10 p.m. to sell it all. Uh, that's about you know that's about 60 lots an hour at the most. Maybe we'll do 50 lots an hour. Depends on how quickly the bids are coming in and and how quickly they stop coming in. All right. So this has been Kent Jackson from Uniques and Antiques. And we'll finalize it with this amazing mirror, lot 440. Look how fancy it is. We'll see you at the auction. Thanks. Bye-bye.